One group believes abused and neglected kids shouldn't have to fight their own battles, but that group needs help from volunteers to keep their task on track. CBS 2 News reporter Dora Miller joins us from the newsroom to explain. Dora? Scott, the group is CASA, or Court Appointed Special Advocates. They say nearly 400 kids were in the foster care system last year. Only 15 percent of those kids had an adult that was able to speak for them in court. The program says they want to change that. Sue Kosak is a voice for children in need. I'm a, a retired nurse and uh, love children. And I thought that that would be something that would be really interesting to fill my extra time with. Over the course of five years, CASA turned into more for her, more like a calling. I can't even tell you how much I've learned about how other people live and, and the kinds of problems and issues that families face today. CASA volunteer coordinator Jennifer Gerke says the program needs more people like COSAC. Every single county has juvenile court judges that are waiting to assign CASAs to different cases. And the qualifications are simple. You need to have a passion for the well-being of kids. You need to be 19 years or older and you also need to have good written and verbal communication skills. It's kind of an investigative type of work. We go into the schools, we have access because we are court appointed, we have the ability to read reports that teachers have written, to go in and actually um, sit in a, a classroom. It's the heart and soul of of what CASA does is speaking out for abused and neglected kids. You can't take away the broken dreams and the broken hearts. You can't take that away, but you can at least have some impact on the rest of their lives. Now, typically a volunteer will spend about five to ten hours a month on a case, and a case can go anywhere from a year to year and a half. If you want more information on this program and how to get involved with them, we'll have that information on our website, cbs2iowa.com. Dora Miller, CBS2 News, 10 at 10.